Bum, bum, bum. All right, what am I missing? Two bottles, only two? All right. Let's continue on in this direction like I was originally and look around here. Did I just hear like a sparkling noise? No, I didn't. I thought I might have heard something that was like, oh, hey, this is, oh, this uh, is not what I thought it was. Oh, this is the one from before, okay. I like this noise it's making. All right. I am missing a paltry two bottles, just two of them. I think I need to go closer to the Grizz's hideout. I feel like that's where they're going to be. So let's start going in that direction. I also need to do the thing with Bob, the ice climbing thing, to get that uh, get that mass down there. Yeah, gotta make sure I do that. Down here is the safe. Yeah, the safe. All right. Bottles. What's that up there? Oh. Wait a minute. What is that? Hanging on the ice. Is that just a rock? What the heck is that? Whatever. Gotta remember to come and do this with Bob later. Do not forget me. Do not forget it under any circumstances. I've already gone up here looking for bottles, haven't I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I remember running through here for bottles before. Let's take the... What is this animal? Is this an Ankylosaurus? Is that what this is? I'm not very brushed up on my dinosaur terminology. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not really high on my list of things to remember. Well, there's a mask right there. Can I get to that from here if I paraglide? Can I paraglide off of the Grizz and make it? Theoretically speaking, this should be possible. Oh, there's an ice climbing thing. This is the ice climbing thing with Bob I was thinking of. There are two masks that I have to use Bob to ice climb to. Interesting. We're definitely going to play as Bob before I finish this session. I'm probably about to go do Sly's mission, then play as Bob. Hopefully run into a... Uh, Run into a bottle as I'm playing as Bob and get these two masks. Bum 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 bum. Alright. If I was one of the last two bottles remaining, where would I be? I was about to jump into that hole and then I saw the eggs falling and I'm like, ah, probably shouldn't do that. I'm at a bit of a loss of where to look. Which is normally the case when you get down to the, like, last two bottles, yeah. You start to run out of ideas of where, like, well, man, where haven't I checked? I found a bottle here, I found a bottle there, etc., etc. Did I just hear one? Sometimes the background music makes a dung dung, like a ding ding noise, kind of like the bottles, so I get confused now and then. It doesn't sound exactly like it, but it's similar enough to make me double check. I really wish that this random occasional framiness would stop existing, but, you know. Some things you just gotta deal with in life, man. Can I go up the edge right here? No? Okay. Thought there might be a way up right there that could lead me to a bottle. Or a treasure, even. Uh, down? Oh, that's the way down to the lava level. I've already been there. Already looked through there. Pretty sure I got all the bottles there. Uh, there was a treasure in that thing's mouth that I already got, so it's not going to be up there. Where, oh where, could these last two bottles be? I wonder. Man, we were doing so well earlier with just, like, happening upon bottles left and right, but now I'm having absolutely zero luck. I think it's that point of the bottle hunting game where I begin to try and stick lower to the ground because I feel like I found most, if not all, of them on the higher levels. Let me pickpocket this fool. How did I... Okay. Definitely thought I was grabbing it there. Can I please take your money? Like, stop... Okay. Stop walking, please. What the heck? Is this guy unpickpocketable? There we go. Unpickpocketable. I like making up words. Out of my face. That's fair. I, I would have let you live if you had not, like, required eight different attempts at pickpocketing. Not in the eye of that dinosaur. Skeleton. Okay, now I'm over near where the training was. That down there looks like it's got potential. That's the fifth costume thing right there. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember being around here much. Could there potentially be a bottle around here somewhere? I want to look down at this watery area. 
Anything around here with a bottle in it? I know that that right there, that requires the uh, fifth outfit. Episode 5's outfit, so don't gotta worry about that. Over here, bottle. This is where you start the fifth outfit thing. The fifth outfit uses this uh, lever here. Which, if you've played the game, you know how it works. If not, then you'll see in the future. Still no sign. Wait, was that a bottle? No, I think it was just the fence post I mistook as a bottle. Dang it. I don't know where to look for these uh, last two bottles. Woohoo! I'm only going to look for another minute or two. This is a fourth costume thing, yeah. Only going to look for another minute or two. How much time am I at? I'm, a, I'm about 35 minutes. I'm a little over 35 minutes. So we've spent at least 15 minutes hunting for stuff, but we made a lot of progress in hunting. This isn't like just looking around. Oh, hey. This isn't just like looking around and failing for 10 minutes. There's one. This has been 15 minutes of straight up progress. It's 29 out of 30. I'm only missing one bottle. Ugh. Ugh, it's so painful to only be missing one of them. I'm not finishing this level until I get it. Unless this next mission I'm about to do is the last mission, which I don't think it is, but it could be. That's one thing I don't like about Sly 4 compared to 3 and 2. In 3 and 2, you would always get a cutscene before you got, like, a row of jobs. There'd be a cutscene of Bentley explaining, these are the jobs we're going to do. These are the, like, one to three jobs we're going to do. Go do them. And if it was the final job, Bentley would explain, like, okay, this is the final job we're going to do. So you'd know if it was the final job going in. In this game, he doesn't do the cutscene until you accept the job, which I don't like. I definitely should have, like, tried to map out a route, but I think I just go right here if this is where I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Crap, I can't run because this guy is next to me. Dang it, he's going to hit me. He's going to... No, I dodged. Make it. Why did it, like, knock me away? Go, 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 go. Is this actually going to work? Wow, I actually got that with, like, 0.7 seconds. That was really sloppy. But whatever, got a cave painting. I think that was a painting of Bentley. I didn't look at it very closely. But awesome. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, first turn off my ultimate outfit. I'm done with it. Not cinematics. Whoops. Turn that off. There we go. So we're back to normal Sly. Because like I said, I prefer normal Sly. And let's go in and go ahead and get Bob. Go get those two masks that I know where they're at. And then we're going... Hopefully find the last bottle as I'm looking. And then we're going to... Uh, start doing missions, probably for the rest of the session. Again, unless I get to, like, five minutes left in the session, I'm like, I can't finish a job in five minutes. All right, uh, Bob, let's go get these masks, man. Got two of them. One up near the Grizz statue, and then one down below at the end of the river. Right. By the way, when I loaded up the game, it said that the game completion rate for this save file was uh, 50%, and we've gotten a lot of bottles and treasures and masks since then. Well, we've only gotten, like, two, maybe three masks, but still... So, we're well over halfway done with this game, not just as completing the main story, but completing the game, 100%. What is your square triangle? Oh yeah, it's that. I was thinking earlier when I used slides, like, have I shown Bob's square triangle? I don't remember what it is. But I definitely did use it before. I remember being like, wow, that's really cool how he can do the thingamajig. The fissure making. Bum bum. Alright, let's go grab this mask. Very carefully now. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. 21 out of 60. Can I, like, land down here somewhere? I can fall into the water. Bum, bum, bum. Is there a bottle at the end of the lake, like, if you wait until the last second before the ice goes over the waterfall to grab it? I need to look for that really quick to be sure. Because that sounds like something that could be a thing. Uh, no. No, it is not. All right, cool. And I already got... There's a bottle or a mask or something beneath there I already got. Yeah. All right. Up we go, Bob. Woohoo! Uh, I'm just gonna kill you. There we go. Oh, wow, it takes more than two fissure hits to kill you? Three fissure hits doesn't kill you? Seriously? Bob, you gotta, like, step up your game, man. Too weak. There we go. Alright, uh, mask is over this way. Keep an eye out for final bottle. Die! I did get the bottle. I always remember this bottle. There was a bottle over top this tar pit. I remembered it. But uh, we already got it. I think we got that as Murray when we were penguin hunting, didn't we? I think so. These guys have shiny things, and I was going to say, you know what? Forget the shiny things. Let's just go and get this done. 
but uh, I changed my mind because I know we've been having money tr uh, trouble problems. Couldn't decide which word I wanted to say. Plus, this was a penguin mask, so it was worth it. I'm not going to hunt down that other guy that went off to the right, though. That's that's too much of a hassle. Actually, that guy is right here, I think. Is this the one? Uh, No. No, it is not. All right, cool. Got to keep an eye out for that bottle. Even if I can't get it as Bob, just knowing where it is is all it takes to finish this. Die. Really, really, there's a treasure right there. How do I get that treasure? Oh, I can go up as Sly right there, I think. All right, so Sly's got at the Grizz's, uh... I'm actually not where I thought I was. I thought that I was up near the statue. I'm not. I'm next to the Grizz's, uh, house. House area. Okay. Next to the Grizz's house area, there's a treasure that Sly needs to get. Duly noted. Can I go in here? No, I can't. I like how there's a giant arrow pointing to it. There is a, yeah, there was a bottle down there that I got. I remember it. All right. Let's start making our way more upward to get to the thing I need. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can wall attach right here. Wait a minute. Is this it? Wait, was I wrong? Was I where I thought I was? I think I am. This is it, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, I was where I thought I was supposed to be. Oh, yeah, there's the statue right there. It's closer to his house than I thought. All right, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Trying to use this vantage point to look around for the last bottle. Man, only missing one bottle. It's it's so frustrating, man. It's so frustrating. Got to figure out where this stupid thing is. All right. We might get it next session because we're definitely... I don't think... Unless this next mission is the last one. Yeah, unless this next mission is the final mission, we're not going to be finishing it this session. Uh, I may as well... First off, kill this guy. I may as well try and get this back with Bob. This is like the first wheel, I guess. See if I can get this back with Bob using this jump pad. This might be something that I need Sly for to be able to do it in a timely manner. Yeah, I think it is. But, you know, there's no harm in trying. Because, I mean, I'm going back to the safe house either way, and I think I might have actually made it. Does this lead? Yeah, it does. I think Bob did it. Way to go, Bob. You got a treasure. Yep, stone wheel. Nice. All right. Let's... Let's play a Sly. Let's also go ahead and look at all these treasures we just got. We went from... I think we started this session at 25% of the treasures, and now we're at 40%, or something similar to that. So, that was a lot of progress. I did want to have 50% of the treasures before the postgame, at the minimum. So, a lot of progress there. And we're at 36% of the masks. Very nice. All right, let's look at all the treasures we just got and get that out of the way. So that uh, we don't have to worry about it. We got this, the Mona Lita. The portrait of this young lady is of Mona Lita, the famous detective. Soon after... Oh, it's like based off of Carmelita. Okay. Uh, yeah, because Lita. Carmelita. Soon after the painting was finished, she revealed herself to the artist and apprehended him for forging canvases. Nice. Sounds like Carm. I want this, uh... This pot. Slight and Common's vase. Young Slight and Common would place this vase in hallways and hide inside, waiting for unsuspecting victims to walk by before peeking out to grab valuables. Good job, Slight and Common. And then we got this. Uh, eggs like this used to be the main source of food for the inhabitants of the region, but after Grizz and his minions arrived, they have become more and more scarce. Unfortunate. Uh, the very first wheel was made of stone and started off square, but after years of rigorous testing, the shape started to form and turned out becoming a hexagonal shape. A few more tumbles down the hill, and who know and who know what shape it will turn out to be? Who knows? That should say knows. Then we got to Sabertooth's skull. The Grizz often pulled out the skull to scare the Sabertooth soldiers into following orders. It's actually made of hollow wood, but they wouldn't know the difference. Uh, nice. The Lutrella nevadensis is a rare hybrid species of the Carnivora family. It is known for its orange fur and loud mouth. I'm pretty sure that this is like Daxter from Jack and Daxter or something. Or maybe it's Jack. I don't remember which is which. Uh, ruby crystal, a limestone covered in precious rubies. Gems like this were collected to decorate Grizz's crown and give him the sense of worth he's always desired. Then we got this one. It is Bentley. A stone tablet with the etching of an ancient turtle floating on some kind of mechanical device. Where could they have seen this before? I wonder. Uh, we've looked at everything else, I think. Are we good? I'm not seeing anything else that I haven't already checked. Look over to the right more. Yeah, we don't have anything on the right. Like, most of episode 4 and 5 stuff is going to be on the right, it looks like. But alright, cool. We should be good then. Uh, time to play a Sly. Wait, thief net first. Make sure I've got everything maxed out. Because I have the money for it now. I think I have one thing for Murray. Like, yeah, run while charge. 
And then Bentley has sleep ammo or something? Not sleep ammo. Uh, what is it? Shrink ammo. That's it. There you go. And I've still got almost 2k left over for whatever pops up next. Awesome. All right. I've got about 15 minutes. We're going to do this job, which hopefully is not the final job. And then after that, I won't have enough time for another mission. So we'll try and find the last bottle. Whether we find it or not is a different story. Hopefully we do. I would love to end this session on finding that so that next time we come back, we can purely focus on finishing this episode so we can get on to episode four. Bum, 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 bum. Kind of, sort of like looking around for it, but not really as I make my way to this job. I feel like it's either near the Grizz statue or it's over here somewhere, because I feel like I haven't looked around here very much. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's just do the job. Let's do the job. I'll worry about that later. Wait, check this back corner first. Look at these statues. Or uh, snowmen. Why do I call them statues? Check this back corner really quickly. And it does not appear to be here. Okay, yeah. We're, we're done looking around. There's a mask right there. How do you get that? Paraglide to it and pray? Uh, I'll try and remember that mask and we'll do it later. For now, uh, job. I said we were doing the job. We're doing the job. Let's do it. I didn't land on the house. Here we go. Please don't be the final job. 